Hello, it's Technology Central here, and welcome to our latest Excel tutorial. Today, we're going to be showing you how to use the Sort and Filter tool. The Sort and Filter tool will let you sort your data and filter it based on the criteria you choose. We're going to show you two examples of using the Sort tool, and then show you how to filter your data. The Sort tool is a manual process that will change your data in place. If you want to have a copy of your data that is sorted and that will update automatically, you should be using the sort function. If you want to learn more about the sort function, check out our tutorial on how to use it. There's a link in the card and in the description. Now let's have a look at the first example of using the sort tool. Here we have a set of data that has a combination of people's names and the scores they received on a test. We're going to start by selecting our entire set of data, including the headings. We come across to sort and filter. And here we're presented with two default options, sort A to Z and sort Z to A. This will sort our data row by row based on the first person's name alphabetically. So I can choose sort A to Z and we can see our data is now sorted alphabetically based on the person's first name. You might want to sort on something that is not the first column or have a more complex sort. To do that, we're going to use the custom sort tool. Again, start by selecting all of our data and come across to sort and filter. Now click custom sort. You now have this dialog box appear. It'll ask you which column you want to sort on, what you want to use to sort on, but there are other options such as the formatting in the cell if that's what you desire. And then finally, you can choose the order. For this example, we're going to sort on the score column. And then we're going to sort from largest to smallest. This means that we'll have the highest score on the top and the smallest score on the bottom. When we're done, click OK. And you can see our data has now been sorted. Now let's look at a slightly more complicated example. Here we have some data with people's names, the number of tickets that they have closed, and the number of complaints that have been received about them. In this example, we want to sort based on how many tickets they've closed, with higher being on top. If there's a draw, we want to settle that draw based on the number of complaints, with whoever has received the fewest complaints being on top. So, as before, select all of the data, then come to Sort and Filter and click custom sort. Here we can see the dialog box again, and we're going to sort on the number of tickets closed. So the column is correct. And we want largest to smallest. We now want to add a second column. To do that, come to the add level button in the top left of the dialog box. This adds a second condition. So we sort on tickets closed and then by the number of complaints. We're then going to leave the order here as smallest to largest and click OK. You can now see our data has been sorted. The number of tickets closed is in descending order. And in the event of a draw, like these top two entries, whoever has received the fewest complaints is ranked on top. Now let's have a look at filtering our data. We're going to go back to our test results data set. And we're going to add filters to it. To do that, select the entire table, come to Sort and Filter, and click Filter. You can now see you've got these drop down arrows in the heading of each column. This is where you'll choose your filtering for the column. We're going to give an example filtering the score. Click on the drop down arrow. Here you can filter on individual results and search for specific entries. Or we can apply a more complex filter using the number filters. There are a wide range of options. For our example, we're going to choose less than or equal to, because we're going to find everyone who scored 50 or less. Once you select that, you'll have this dialog box appear. We're going to enter our value here. This means we're going to show all of the rows 
where the score is less than or equal to 50. If you want to add more conditions, you can do so here. When you're done, click OK. You can see our data has now been filtered. We now have this range of data, which is showing everyone who has scored 50 or less. To clear the filter, come back to the filter, click on it, and then clear filter from score. You've now got your original data set back. To remove the drop down arrows, select all of your data, come to sort and filter, and then click filter. And this will remove the filter from your table of data. That's all we've got to show you in this tutorial. We hope you found it useful. If you have, leave us a like, subscribe, and leave us a comment. Don't forget to check out our tutorial on using the sort function in Excel, and check out our channel for a wide range of other tech tutorials. But for now, thanks for watching, and goodbye.